he's going to crack under pressure. This is a fight two years in the making. If Tommy can't splatter Jake Paul, I'll retire him from boxing myself. Billed as The Truth is an upcoming professional boxing match between Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. Although this is not a high level professional boxing fight, this fight has generated a remarkable buzz among boxing fans. That is mainly because of the popularity of these young stars. Paul is a YouTuber turned boxer. He and his brother Logan Paul combined has more than 40 million followers across all platforms. And also, Tommy is the half-brother of the current heavyweight champion Tyson Fury and has more than 4 million social media followers. So, many fans have been paying attention to this fight and it has gained significant media attention. This bout is scheduled to take place on 26 February 2023 in Saudi Arabia. The pair have been locked in negotiation for months trying to reschedule the fight which has fallen through twice already. First. Fury pulled out of the original date in December 2021 with injuries and illnesses. Then, the Manchester fighter had visa issues while trying to get over to the US to promote their second fight, which was called off too. Paul instead fought Anderson Silva, beating him on points to rack up his sixth win as a professional boxer. Fury, who was 8-0, was last in action in an exhibition on the undercard of Floyd Mayweather. But, now Fury and Paul are ready to battle. And it's going down on Diria, Saudi Arabia, where Anthony Joshua vs Andy Ruiz Jr. took place. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as we look into the fight between Jake Paul, the problem kid, vs Tommy TNT Fury. Jake Joseph Paul is an American social media personality and professional boxer. He was a social media influencer at first. Paul began his career in September 2013, posting videos on Vine. By the time Vine was discontinued, Paul had gained 5.3 million followers and 2 billion views on the app. Then he launched his YouTube channel in 2014 and became a YouTuber. That's why he's known as YouTuber turned boxer. His boxing career began in August 2018 when he defeated the British YouTuber Deji in an amateur contest via TKO in the fifth round. Turning professional, Paul have beaten the YouTuber Anderson Gibb in January 2020 via TKO in the first round. Between 2020 and 2022, Paul won his fights against retired basketball Nate Robinson by second round KO as well as retired mixed martial artists Ben Askren, Tyron Woodley and Anderson Silva. On the other hand, Tommy Fury is a British professional boxer and reality television personality. He took time off from his boxing career in 2019 to star in the reality television show Love Island. His half-brother is the heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury. Tommy made his professional debut in 2018, scoring a four-round points decision victory. The fight was part of the undercard of the Joshua Warrington vs. Carl Frampton. After his second fight, he recorded the first stoppage of his professional career, defeating Callum Idavia first round knockout on March 2019. After stepping away from the boxing for nine months to take part in reality television program, Fury returned to the ring on December 2019, scoring a first round technical knockout victory. Currently, he has a professional record of eight wins without any losses. Fury was supposed to be in Riyadh on eight for a press conference ahead of their grudge fight on February 26th, but Paul stated that the Love Island star Fury wouldn't be flying over from the UK for the event, claiming that he requested more time to train for their fight. But Fury's promoter, George Warren, spoke on his behalf at the press conference and gave a different reason for his absence. Everything we are hearing from the camp that he is looking excellent in the gym. He sends his apologies 
for not being here in person. He is dealing with the private and personal matter at the moment. Make no mistake, he will be here in due time to publicize to promote the event. We are planning to bring him in around 10 days before the event, Warren said. Although Tommy was no show, Jake Paul faced off with Derek Chisora in an impromptu stare down at their press conference in Saudi Arabia. British heavyweight then asked Paul if his opponent's absence had left him frustrated. I'm used to his behavior at this point. He is unprofessional and he's a flake. He is not a serious businessman or a serious fighter and I am going to prove that. Paul replied. Many feel that pressure going into the contest lays firmly on the shoulders of Fury and even dad John and brother Tyson have publicly told him to stay in Saudi Arabia should he fail to defeat the brash YouTuber. This is only shown by the fact Fury has already pulled out of two dates with Paul once due to injury and then on a second occasion after being denied entry into the United States. Despite all this, Tommy had said Jake Paul's boxing career ended on February 26 and I can finally move on with mine. Every time I go out right now, everybody asks me about the Jake Paul fight. After the fight is done, everybody will be asking me how it felt to knock down Jake Paul. Many experts in the boxing world have stated their ideas about this fight. Speaking on the Dazzin Boxing Show, Tony Bellew broke down some of the technical faults in Paul's game, particularly when he is under pressure. However, the Brit was not spared by the former world champion, who stated that he didn't even envisage Fury going on to win a British title. Jake Paul still panics massively when going back. His chin is in air and there are few fundamental flaws there. But he's getting in there and he's having a go. Make no mistake, Tommy is in this great prospect. He is not even going to win a British title. This isn't about two guys who could go on and win a world title. Giles Sonnen says, Jake Paul should cut ties with Tommy Fury after no show. They can't let Fury keep calling these shots. What he did to them is non redeemable But no, he gets another 2 million and he gets to go on an even nicer location. It's really weird. But at some point, they have to take control if they want to be respected. Ricky Hatton, two-weight world champion said, they are big names in social media world, aren't they? I think Tommy's got good ability with boxing and good punching power. I think Tommy beats him all day long. No matter the outcome, this fight is definitely going to bring so much attention to the game. Fury doesn't have a ton of experience and hasn't faced a top-end fighter yet. But he does figure out to be Paul's toughest test thus far, since Paul has never actually gone up against an opponent who has consistently trained and fought as a boxer. Despite questions about how Paul would fare against true boxers, he has quickly turned himself into one of the top draws in the sport. And both he and Fury should generate a ton of interest and revenue if they can finally make their long-anticipated bout happen. This is a huge advantage for boxing. Let's hope that this time, the fight will happen as expected. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay up to date with the latest boxing news and fight. See you next time.